Wow! It's working! Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and today's video is about iPhone 7 boot looping and it's stuck on Apple logo. I was waiting for such a problem since long time because a lot of my students, they told me about this problem. When you remove the audio IC, the phone is working fine. But when you do the jumper and return the chip back to the PCB, it's stuck on the Apple logo. You remove it again and it's working fine. At the beginning I was thinking maybe they overheat the PCB and the baseband got disconnected or shorted but actually it's not the case. Right now I have a phone with the same problem. The phone came to me from another shop missing too many parts and some traces is not there. I thought maybe this just need some good soldering skills to repair the traces and get those components from donor board but it's actually the same when you remove the audio IC it's working fine IMEI is there when you put back the chip the phone starts to boot loop and stuck on the Apple logo I don't know if you see it it's now switched off and now it's turning on show the Apple logo yeah I also was thinking it's a chip problem so I replaced the chip original one from donor board two times and it's still the same basically I don't know what is the problem here and I'm doing this video to figure it out with you so stay tuned you can see here that I did the jumpers and I replaced one two three four five six seven eight one uh, nine then all was missing before but still the same problem the phones come to me in very bad shapes people like to go to cheaper uh, repair technicians I think this is a global issue it's everywhere and in every country and as you can see all the balls are in perfect shape so it's not a chip problem it's not a soldering problem I wonder what is the issue we will figure it out let's measure resistance to ground all the resistance values seems normal and I already changed two chips and all the components which I thought it's faulty before or broken I replaced it from donor board and it's still the same so we need to dig deeper there are some pads giving me an OL as a normal resistance value some of those pads are connected to capacitors in parallel and if a pad is connected to a capacitor in parallel it will give you an OL as a normal resistance but if that cap is connected to a chip from the other side of the cap should give you a value same like these two caps and this one if I check resistance from here it's an OL and from the other side it's an OL also here OL and here OL here OL and here OL from here to this pad should be connected and from the other side if the cab is connected to a chip it will give you the value of the chip but this is connected to lower microphone one so there is no resistance value and this one is connected to lower microphone 4 and from here it's connected to that bad so that's normal to give you an OL from both sides and this one connected to here and from here it's connected also to rear microphone so it's normal to give me an OL uh, let's check the connection between the bad and the cap L5 1 2 3 4 5 and it's connected and the cap itself is not shorted K7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and it's connected and the cap is not shorted 
so let's check the other one connected not shorted mm. we need to go deeper but before we go if you are getting value from this video just give me a like and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my coming videos now i will install the chip and for the rest of the pads which is giving me an ol i will check where those pads connected to if it's a microphone i will go to find out what is the value on the connector for this pad and i'll check it and i'll check if there is a filter broken or a resistor uh, broken and we'll see i never seen this problem before and that's why i want to know what is the purpose and the reason of the problem that's how i gain experience and i put all my experience in a pocket so when my students ask me a specific question about a problem i can tell them this is because of that when someone send me a question i have this iphone 7 blah 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 what should i do i really don't know because I never touched your phone and I don't have the ability to take measurement and troubleshoot and diagnose your phone online on Facebook or on YouTube. People think that I save the problems in my mind and it will be same problem they are facing so why I not give them the solution but it's not like this. Each phone if it has the same problem can be from many different reasons and to know how to solve the problem you have to find the reason and if you don't know how to check or troubleshoot properly you will spend forever to find the reason you may remove chips install chips and the problem still the same because it's not from the chip and maybe you see me ha have a phone with the same problem as you and I just change the chip and it's working fine. The reason that phone was not working, it's the chip. The reason your phone is not working could not be the same. That's why I hate like the ready-made solutions. It's not working. Maybe 10% working. I will just now put the chip and we'll see those OL lines where it's connected to which connector and I will go measure the resistance value on the connector. Here we go. Let's go to ZX and find some of those uh, OL pads. So let's start with M6. M6 is connected to a parallel capacitor. What else? Filter and capacitor. Where is the filter? The filter is here. So let's click here and we should get a resistance of 637 and I get 650. That seems right. Let's go back to L6 L6 is connected to a parallel capacitor and filter where is the filter? it's here above the hydra no it's above the speaker amplifier or the that, uh, that's an arc driver not the speaker amplifier so this is not a connector I'm not sure what is the resistance value but let's check it it has a resistance from this side and from the other side seems normal and if we go to the other side we will find the same value we measured 600 something well, one two three four five let's go to the camera the connector one two three four five same resistance 
that's the resistance value of the audio IC so it should give me an OL when there is no chip but I just saw something while I'm doing the measurement I just saw this three components missing I didn't see it before my problem with the audio IC so let's do a jumper for audio IC people told me that we did the jumper but it didn't work but I say maybe they did it wrong and the shape of the board when it came here told me that it's not done professionally so I had to replace what they did and didn't work the phone turning on without the chip but when you put back the chip not turning on Apple logo stuck on the Apple logo so let's find out what are these components first there is a missing filter which is connected to baseband to lower antenna GPIO that's not related to our thing what else is missing that one is a cap doesn't matter and this resistor which is pull up resistor for I to see three is it connected to the audio chip no it's not connected from the other side maybe no not connected to audio okay from this side maybe no let's open iPhone 7 schematic and look for I to C 3 and see what is it aha I to C 3 is connected to I to C mic 1 interesting I'm sure this resistor what makes the device stuck on the Apple logo and the restart because that I2C line is disconnected because of the resistor this is a pull up resistor let's install it and check the phone we cannot put a resistor like this we need some solder yeah like this not exactly but let's find the donor board here we go and we should take the filter for the baseband lower antenna in the way maybe this phone fall down and those resistors ah but no ah, no I have the evidence that some technician did that I don't know the reason why he removed this resistor and the filter because I see that he already removed the capacitor you see this cap is removed by someone if the phone fall down it will not do like this Now let's test the phone and I'm pretty sure that it will work. The phone has turned on. And it's on already. I can see the dim Apple logo. It's getting bright. Oh ho ho! Wow! It's working! Now let's check the audio if it's working or no hello everyone welcome back to the channel oh my god I'm very stupid <laughs> there's no microphone but <laughs> it's trying to record let's check the baseband and the baseband is here there is nothing called a solution there is diagnosis troubleshooting finding the reason of the problem then 
fixing it. My work here is done and I'll see you next one.